Eric Mwadith, Mwadith.com. Let's take a look at two stocks that have a similar type situation in terms of their long-term monthly charts. The first stock is TEX, and we can see a recent pullback of the highs here over the last couple of weeks. We see the stock starting to drift lower. Now, let me show you if you take a look. Now, this is a two-year weekly chart. If we take a look at the long-term monthly chart, I'll draw one line that goes back to the lows here, breaks through these lows here, and I'll extend that line. It should be something like that. All right, so one more time, it's a single line that goes back to the lows here, captures this break, so we extend that line. And what you can see from this long-term monthly chart going back to the early 90s is we see the break off the highs of 2008, Resistance with uniform activity here off those highs. We tag this here during the highs there. We tagged it there during those highs. And we can see in the current market we hit that. And that is why the weekly chart is showing resistance. So as long as that line is offering resistance, we can expect it to continue pulling back. Now the next stock with a similar story is DO. We can see this week it's down about 8%. On a weekly chart this is a two-year weekly if we take a look at the long-term monthly chart again we go back to our single line analysis which is drawing one line that gives us an idea of what's going on so you take a line connecting the lows here extend it out it should be something like that and what you see here is there was a break here in 2014 off those highs resistance there off those highs resistance here of those highs here and coming into the month of November you can see that it has hit that level and it's now pulling back so those two charts show that we can use single and single line analysis sometime to understand what a stock is doing here we can see two examples with different looks but again one single line can explain why the pullbacks are taking place right now unless the two stocks can move above the resistance levels here for DO, unless it can move above this line, we can expect it to continue struggling, if not actually probe recent lows. And we can see here that for TX, TEX, if it fails to move back above this line, we can also anticipate that the coming weeks and months are going to be testing lower prices. Eric Mwadith, Mwadith.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-R-C-S. Woo!